Hey guys, Oko here. Welcome back to our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we want to pursue more of the glyphs. I think, too bad I couldn't zoom into this picture. Maybe we can. No, not really. But you see, let me see here. So we've gotten four. So maybe I should get that one in the very upper northern section to complete sort of those ones. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that one. That one that's really, really north. And there was also some... There was a quest that was sort of in that area too that regarded a... Um, the remains of some sort of giant legendary beast. Maybe we can do that one while we're up there too. But let's take a look at where that is. It's just a little bit east of, like, looks like one of the highest peaks there. That must be right around here. So according to this picture, we should be pretty close to it. It's probably right around here, I would imagine. It's probably in this area here, I bet. Let's just put a pin there and let's go flying to that area. I think I see a glyph. I think I see it straight ahead. The start of it. It looks like a hand or something. I see it. Yep, it's lighting up. There it is. So where do you think it should be, huh? Maybe right in the very center is what I would assume. There we go, that was a nice soft landing. Alright, well, let's head this way. There's a shrine too, maybe I should do that while I'm here. Mm-hmm. First, let's investigate the glyph and see if we can find the memory. I'm gonna head to what I think is the center. This is probably one of the eyes. This looks like it might be a center here. Let's see. No. Maybe it was here? <laughs> Where do we go? Darn it. I don't really want to wake up that lizard. See if we can get a better look at this thing. Darn. Not gonna be so easy, I guess. It's a Korok. Yeah. You found me. 
Yeah, in the last game, you cashed those in in the Lost Woods with that big, uh, tree guy. Oh, boy. Where are we going to go? Huh? Where are we going to go? Oh. Let's go with this, see what happens. Whoa, that fried him. Yeah, that worked really good, didn't it? Alright, so I'm just gonna spend the next little while just investigating this terrain, I guess, and trying to figure out where the memory is. It's just a matter of finding the right spot. I wish I could go up in the sky so I could see. I mean, I guess we need one of those balloons that Impa has. I wonder if we do have one of those. We probably could do that, actually. This looks like a center part here. This has got to be it. No, come on. How could that not be the right spot, huh? Well, okay. This is one of the hands. Sure, it isn't the tip of one of the fingers. No. Good shots. Here we go. This might be it, dear. What's this all about? There's a little part here with a rock. A Korok! Another Korok. Here we go. Found it. I don't know why it took so long. That's just ridiculous. It just took way too long, you guys. I just... Ugh. Very disappointed in this. Ah, that was not fun at all. It took way too long. I don't, I don't understand why they didn't put it in the center. Why does it have to be in this weird and conspicuous place? Disappointing. Queen Sonia! Queen Sonia! Finally. Finally, it is mine!
I don't suppose Ganondorf is actually the mummy that was at the beginning of the game. Kind of looks like him there with the hair. Oh, I thought she was taking a picture. <laughs> yeah, well, she saved the day there. She got them all out of there. I thought she was taking a selfie in the middle of this. All right, so there's another memory. That was a pretty... I was pretty disappointed with this one. That was just really... Just way too hard to find, that one. I don't know why that was in this conspic inconspicuous spot and not right in the middle. I don't know why they're making this way more difficult and boring than it needs to be. So, anyway, let's just try and forget that now. We finally got that one. I'm just going to head to this shrine up ahead. I'm gonna try something here. Let's take a picture of something. got ruined. Well, this doesn't look like an easy one to get to, but let's just see. It's ice, so we're not going to be able to 
climb that. So we're going to need some special climbing gear, or there's a cave underneath. What about this? What happened to my fire? My what the hell happened? What happened to my flint and firewood? Why did it do that? Bring this over here. I was hoping that maybe this would reveal a cave. Oh my god. He's alive? <laughs> that revealed nothing but a monster. Somehow still alive? Well, that was disappointing. I was hoping to get a cave. Can this melt at all? No. All right, well, we'll have to come back here when we can climb ice. Yeah, let me just see. We probably have to need some kind of gear. We probably need some gear or something like that that'll help us. I wonder if this would work with ice on wet surfaces. Maybe we can try this. No, that didn't work. That probably only works with rain. Okay, well we wasted a potion then, no big deal. Alright, so what we're going to do now is go for the next glyph. Where should we go? I think I'm going to go for the one on the very far right there. That's sort of like a mollusk. So that's probably going to be somewhere around this. So let's look at the, let's look here. So it's sort of right above the mountain, which is obviously this. It's going to be down in this area somewhere. Let's go over this way and look around. Let's look up here. Let's get some height and look around for a glyph. We should see something. That is quite a ravine. Oh, right. Those are the islands. Yeah, we'll be investigating those islands eventually. They're kind of fun.
believe how difficult it is to find these glyphs. Looks like there's a little current here that we can take up, I think. It's very nice. Thank you. Didn't quite take us all the way up, though, but I guess it's high enough. Yeah, I sort of vaguely remember exploring this area. I like this area. It's very like... It's like North American... Sort of foresty. Alright, so I looked it up, so it's around here. So we still haven't gone south enough. It sure is far away. Well, let's just keep going. I guess we'll... giant block just came down. I wonder if we can uh, use this to rewind a bit and get a little height. So we want to go Wow, this is awesome. Alright, now we should be able to find it. So, we're way high up. Down in this region somewhere here. We're getting close. Oh, there it is! It's a little further than I thought, but that's okay. So that's exactly where it is now. We'll get rid of it. Stay away from that whiz robe down there. <laughs> Alright, so we found the location of our next geoglyphs. So this should be number six.
Oh, there's a male stag over there, but I'll leave it. Or will I? I mean, we need the meat. You can also use them as mounts if you can sneak up on them. It's challenging, but I've done it. You can do it. So is it right in the center here? Or is this another Korok? Traditionally, we get a Korok before we get the memory. Yep. This one's no different. <laughs> okay, well, this one doesn't quite look as big, so I hope it's not as hard finding it. There we go. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru, the Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, Goron, Zora, and Rito leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. Something I'd like to show you.
Stand with me. I need all your aid. All right, so there's another memory done. So I think we could have, we could probably fit one more in now. Let's just take another look here. So which one should we do now? Now we've done those. One, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe we'll do the one that's just a little bit to the right of Hyrule Castle. So that will complete basically most of the ones in the northern section and the bottom right there. That's going to leave, that'll leave four for the next episode, I guess. Right? Yeah, so it's going to be really around here somewhere, I think, because it looks like it's right around here. I really do think it's going to be right around here somewhere. I'm going to put a, a yellow marker there, and let's just go for a jump. Let's see if we see anything in that direction. Yep, I see it. That was an easy one to find. There it is. So I guess we'll go right to the very center of it. It looks like our Pura pad. Well, this was definitely one of the easier ones to find. Thank goodness. Ugh. Some of these are uh, glyphs have been hard to find, and even when we find them, they're their little special spots are hard to find. Hard to tell if there's anything going on around here. It doesn't look like it. Alright, well, it wasn't the center. <laughs> so it's going to be one of the buttons, but let's look around here. Pick up some sun shrooms while we're here. Yeah, this one doesn't look very big, so we should be able to... Fully explore this one safely. This looks like a Korok. I knew it. I think there's pretty much been one of these at every glyph, hasn't there? There's the pool.
It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonya, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. One blessed with eternal life. Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Uh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. All right, and so we collect another memory and a little piece of the puzzle of what's happening to Princess Zelda. So, uh, according to according to this, there's four more that sort of like two that are directly south of Hyrule Castle, and then two that are sort of southwest. One looks like one is in the Highlands, and one is a little bit further north. So we'll get those last four uh, in the next episode. All right, that's going to be everything for today. We've had lots of story in this episode, and we'll get a lot more in the next one as well. But thank you, everybody, for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link below. I'm Oko, and I'll see you guys all on the next episode of our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now.